wonder if you've just blacked all this out, that maybe you did kill your wife? Absolutely. He's going to spend the rest of his life in prison for killing his wife, Kirsten. And tonight, experts weigh in on our controversial interview with Richard Locke. Yeah, we watched. You did, too. His words and his actions didn't match up. And tonight, chief investigative reporter Tony Kowaleski is here. And, Tony, not even the experts believe him. Well, exactly, Ann and Shannon. A lot of controversy, a lot of emotion over this interview. Let's take a moment. Kirsten Lockett's life ended too early. It ended nearly two years ago. The end of a marriage with a long history of domestic violence. During our interview, Rick Lockett sent a mixed message saying he's responsible for Kirsten's death, but also saying he didn't kill her. She was violently and wrongly taken from this world, and he did it. He's the chief deputy DA. He was ready to convince a jury that Rick Lockett was a murderer. None of the evidence supports his rendition of how it happened. None. He was prepared to show jurors pictures, share details and facts that made it clear. Kirsten Lockett's husband was a cold-blooded killer. He also watched our entire interview with Rick Lockett. Just seeing that entire conversation was very, very enlightening. Um. I don't want to come off as uh, making excuses. I, I have nothing to gain by this interview. It's not going to shorten my life sentence. I still loved her. Just wanted to die. For nearly 90 minutes, Lockett answered our questions. This is a tough question to ask. But now looking back on it, do you wish you had just taken your life and let your kids have their mom? And told his story. Tough question. Very tough. Um, I thought I didn't take my life. I was dead in my mind. What's that body language say to you? We also asked two of the state's top psychologists to analyze Lockett's answers. He has to think about it. it tells me that, uh, I don't know, I, I think it was okay to kill her. But his hesitation indicates that, okay, let me think of what I should say. Their resume of experience includes work with law enforcement on the Columbine shootings and the Aurora Theater shootings. They get paid to understand the minds of murderers. That pause was a big moment for you guys. And, and the way he, he never, I mean, again, if he was truly remorseful, he, when, when you asked that good question, he said, yeah, of course. Do you think you took your wife's life? No. You don't? No. That was the most controversial moment in our interview. A man who accepted a plea for the felony murder of his wife sat in front of our cameras and said he doesn't believe he killed her. They asked me if I blacked out. I don't think I blacked out. I think I lost a lot of blood and passed out. Um, my guess is she picked up the knife and stabbed herself. You realize that's not going to sit well with a lot of people. Absolutely. At the point at which he says, objectively untrue things about the life that he ended that is offensive, um, that is wrong, and, and that needs to be shouted down from the highest rooftops. You heard him say he didn't kill her. Surprise you? No. No. Why? Everybody, when they do, when you see these crimes, everybody has to save face in some way. The criminal experts agreed that understanding Rick Lockett is a difficult task. He's a man who said he didn't kill his wife, yet he chose not to go to trial, accepting the worst possible plea. Help people understand why you take a guilty plea for the worst possible punishment you can receive, life in prison without parole. Because I'm, I'm guilty of that charge. And he's a man who also deflected some of the responsibility. Did the system fail you here? I believe the system failed everybody here. Failed my wife, failed my kids, failed my mother-in-law, failed me. It's society's fault, not his. It's law enforcement's fault, not his. He's responsible-ish. He's responsible-esque. What about your personal responsibility? Where are you with? I only have one life to give, and I gave it, so I don't know how I can hold myself more accountable. It cheapens and degrades Kristen's life and her death when he lies about it and and that can't be left to stand ultimately a complicated series of messages from a man who will now spend the rest of his life behind bars why do you think he did this interview I think because it was a chance for him to show I'm suffering I'm not a totally bad person I care about people what's your message to others 
that might be on the same path you were on. Get help. Go to church. Go get counseling. Find a friend. Get help. Now, the criminal psychologist also made this point. Richard Lockett may have diverted from the truth on some key points, but they believe that Lockett believes what he said. Now, why, you might ask? Well, they say it may be a bit of a way for him to wake up every day and survive. But Powerful, the, controversial. You know, the system said, you know, system failed his wife. He failed his wife. He failed himself. He failed his kids. It's, just, it's horrible. So, it it yeah. certainly is, and, and he said what he said, and, and the experts laid it out there. Yeah. Tony, Thank you, Tony. For that tonight.